how's it going? I'm Kyle from the Kinky Aphrodisiacs, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install amp casters um, on your bass cab. And um, I've seen a few videos like this, but none of them have it so that you're keeping these rubber bumpers on, which are pretty great on stage. Um, but of course, the amp casters are great for you know to and from the stage to your car. Um, also, I wouldn't recommend keeping the wheel casters on inside your car with them moving. Even though they're pretty sturdy, they uh, could break. Um, okay, and this will apply to guitar cabs too. Um, so if you're worried about that, you shouldn't be. Um, step one, uh, we're going to get all of our tools together. Um, going to need a drill. Um, Amp casters, of course. I got Ernie Ball. Um, you can really, doesn't really matter if you go to Home Depot and get it, but the Ernie Ball sets have it all in one. Um, so they're pretty easy, and you're going to end up spending about the same money, anyways. Um, might need a hammer, um, razor, um, some drill bits, and um, I have a 916 drill bit. And it works almost perfectly. Um, if you can't find one of these, 5 eighths will work too. Um, it's a little bit bigger. It will be smoother down in there. But um, what I'm actually going to be doing is they don't normally have a bigger than one half drill bit for um, wood that's cheap. So I'm going to use my one half. Um, drill down in there and then drill it back out with the 9 16 Um Okay, once you got all your stuff together, you're going to want to take a piece of paper, or if you got the Ernie Ball set, it comes with a little um, piece of cardboard. And what you're going to want to do is take it out, and you're going to want to mark where you're going to be drilling, um, just as a point of reference. So, what you want to do is put it down. And you want to put it towards uh, the inside and align the holes with the screws that are already in the bumpers. Just kind of give it an outline. Once you got that, um, you can take a pin or, or something and just kind of poke through it. That way you can kind of see the mark and then mark it down with a little X and you want to make sure that um, it's not going to hit the bumper on the way down when, once you uh, hammer it in. Um, I already did these other three so um, essentially I'm just going to show you on this one but you'd go through each one. That's going to be the first step or that'll be the second step I guess. Um, first step being getting all your tools together. Um, so the third step, you're going to want to drill, um, and I just have a standard, um, power drill, it doesn't really matter which, whichever one you use. Um, you want to make sure you drill down level as well, and don't push too hard, just push just enough, um, because if you're going to be drilling by the speakers, you don't want to drill down too far, but, um, there's about at least four inches down there, so you don't don't be too worried about it, but be conscious. I was with the one half. I'm gonna go with the nine sixteenth to bore it out a little bit more. Okay, step four, um, try not to get any of the wood flakes inside the cab, it can be bad for it, so 
just kind of want to clean up a little bit around the sides before you move forward. Also, this is when your razor comes in handy too. Um, Cause there's little plastic lining that can get in the way of the amp caster. So you just kind of want to shave them off, just the sides of them. Try not to let them drop down. casters in I would recommend taking the little wheel off so you just have the female piece um, and you want to align again the holes with the uh, hole uh, the, with the screws that are already in the rubber bumper and give it a hammer if you need to And if you have their any ball set, uh, it's going to come with um, their own screws. Pretty easy. Um, one thing to remember when you're here is always drill on the inside most um, screw hole. Um, that way it aligns all the other ones. And you want to make sure that you're drilling down level because um, it can really screw you up if uh, you go in cockeyed or sideways. Uh, like that. And also when you're screwing you want to go from inside to outside to so go to the opposite side. right in um, real easy to get in and out of gigs um, now but when you get the amp ups up on the stage you can just pop them right off that way you're not moving around when you're bumping that bass thanks for checking out my first video hopefully there'll be more to come uh, you can check out my band's videos at the kinky afrodgx.com or on YouTube and um, thanks for Ryan Lockoff for this hat Appreciate it.